Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the Challenger decks. These decks cost $29.99 and they all have value of $85 or more according to TCG Player Mids. Now, wow. First of all, I did not expect these decks to be actually good or have multiple copies of good cards in them. But wow, we have this deck it has chandra chandra is a 20 dollar 20 dollar 22 dollar card and it also has hazret which is a 23 24 27 dollar card together you have 50 dollars of value in just two cards it also has gory bringer kavi bormat curator has all your lightning strikes your shocks and just overall a fantastic value. It even has a sideboard with Pia Nalar in it. I mean, this is the real deal. You probably need about two of these to make a competitive deck, but I see no reason that anyone should be opening booster packs now. Just wait for the Challenger decks to come and buy two of those, and you're good. You're good to go. I never felt that Magic would ever get to a, a point in time like this where you could buy a deck for $30 and actually have it be competitive. But here we are. This deck, not actually the best deck for a beginner, but in terms of value, you got $50 in two cards and the whole deck cost $30. What is there to complain about the answer is nothing. You should buy this deck as soon as you can. And all the decks have equal value. They definitely understand the secondary market. Otherwise, you would have one deck that was more expensive than rest by a margin. But all these decks are 85 to 90 to $95. I love this deck um, in terms of speculation, in terms of accumulating many Chandras, accumulating many Hazrets. It gives you the best of literally everything you want. Two cards, 50 bucks, cost less than $30 retail. I mean, that's fantastic. All right, next deck, we have Winding Constrictor, a pretty good uncommon. Uh, here, interestingly enough, we have the Walking Ballista, which is good. We have Risk Car, but we have free Verderous Gear Hoax. That is insane. I mean, come on now. Three of those, and then four Afer Hubs. Wow. Um, Afer Hub, as many of you know, is a very valuable and common that we'll probably see play in modern. So it's gonna, it's a very good card. And we have, I mean, we have two Gontis. It's a very good deck. And out, right outside the box, you can buy it and they'll be good. I am shocked because what this is going to do is it will make magic a lot cheaper and it's going to make people buy less packs there's no reason to buy a pack when you can buy a pre-made deck for one fourth the price of a booster box one third the price of a booster box i mean these are going to be very good long they're way better than the magic the last time i saw a product with this much value for the msrp outside of a commander product of course was the battle decks and only one battle deck ever had any value and that was the battle deck with Coco and Windswept Heath. I mean Windswept Heath is obviously very good because it's a fetch land and Coco used to be one of the strongest cards still played in modern but you know it's not as good as it used um, it was at the time of release. All right I mean I was expecting more like one gear hulk but they have three of them. I was expecting more like two Afer Hubs. It's also got a $7 Fatal Push in it. And uh, so the value is there. This is the future of Magic. This is why no one should ever buy a booster box unless they want to draft again. Buy singles, but now you don't even need to buy singles because all the relevant singles are in these things. And you might say, oh, you, do you like this? What is my opinion on it? My opinion is very, very simple. Buy these and only buy these. Um, these are going to be the future of Magic because it's so simple to get into the game. Uh, and 
this is, I mean, outside the land. So here we have four Heart of Kinrin. I would never imagine four of those because they're A, legendary creatures and they're mythics and they are the engine that makes this vehicles run. You got four Bormat creators, which is good. You got Dipla. You got Veteran Motorist. You got Lightning Strikes. You got so Sky Sovereign Council Flagship, which is a very good vehicle. Uh, four Spirals of Industry, which is good. Dragon Skull Summit. Mm, so they are including kind of the rare Lion Cycles. Concealed Courtyard. Free Aether Hubs. I mean, look at this. I mean, this card, this... This is so sick, right? I mean, there's so much money in these decks, and I would say, forget the booster boxes. The booster boxes are not worth investing in. Anyone telling you that you should invest in these booster boxes are an insane. Why would you invest in the booster boxes when you can buy this for $30 and includes all the cards that you would want in the booster box? And this is not saying, I mean, you might think, oh, these is just the rotating cards. No, we're going to get to two decks that are heavily on my cat. And I mean, obviously, we're going to get some Ixlon decks, and we'll get new ones. And new ones will all have $80, $90 of value, and there's no... Okay, for you to pull, for you to buy a box for $100 and get $90 of value from the box, A, you have one problem. You have two problems. A, you're not getting a deck. You're just getting a random value of $90. And B, you're not going to get $90. At best, maybe your expected value, I believe, in Hour of Devastation is $54. So why spend $100 to get $54 of, quote, retail value when you can buy this for $30? Now, many of you might be uh, excited, but then be like, oh, these are going to be price spiked. And no. Yeah. In the past, Wizard of the Coast would under severely and intentionally under print stuff because they're they were being dumb they were leaving money on the table today that's not the case if anything they're going to overprint yeah i know people say oh, unstable this unstable that and you can still buy david adams for a very good i think it was like 120 and then with discounts you can get it for under 100 i mean why like any box with any of these cards are a are a definitely no here we have our A for Meltdown, Cast Out. Cast Out, I think it's kind of meh. Ipatune Rivlet. Um, hmm. Approach the Second Sun. I'm not sure what in this deck makes it Irrigated Farmland. Is that the land? Is that how they got the value up? I'm not sure why this deck, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, very pricey to me. There's got to be some card I'm missing because this card deck is also $85. Yeah, Irrigated Farmland is the... Oh, it's the Amaket. It's the Amaket Cycling Land. And it's about 5 bucks right now on Cool Stuff Inc. Well, it's like, yeah, 5 bucks. Mm, foil is 5 bucks. okay. So then the regular one is $4.49. So, okay, there you go. There's a the value. You get a whole place set of lands. $18 of land. Yeah, that, I mean, how, but then how do we get up to, um, hmm, I'm trying to figure out how we get up. Is Ipanu Rivlet, is that a card that's valuable? A for Meltdown, Approach to Second Sun, Fumigate, Optus, like a $2, $1, $2 card. Anyway, I know for a fact this is like 85 bucks. And I'm not sure what's making it 85 bucks, but it is. Trust me, maybe it's a sideboard that we don't quite see because it's off page. The conclusion is very simple. They're going to print these into oblivion. Therefore, you do not have to buy booster packs or booster boxes ever. You didn't have to buy them to begin with because singles will always be better. But these singles are not going to be so pricey anymore. Chandra is a $22 single. Hazaret is a $27 single. These lands, you know, Fatal Plus, all of these things are expensive. But how can they be that expensive if you can buy a pre-made package and for pennies on a dollar? This is the best investment I've ever seen. I don't know if they're going to continue this, but if I had money, and I do, I'm going to buy the crap out of this from David Adams. You, I'm going on to David Adams as we speak. And I'm seeing if David Adams has this 
quote product. I'm not sure if they do. Uh, oh yeah, so Hazret Red 90, Vehicle Rush 95, Second Sun Control 80, so that's the 80, Counter Surge 85. That's so insane. I mean, that's so insane. The value is just incredible. I've, I've never seen a good deal. I've never seen a deal like that before from Wizards of Coast. Normally, their pre-cons and decks just suck. I'm not going to lie. They suck. Um, so, it is $28.95 on David Adams pre-order. Is that pre-order? You can buy a four display case. What does that mean? A four display case for a thousand nine hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, nine hundred and fourteen dollars. Um with a ten dollar deposit. Oh, eight decks per box, four boxes per case, thirty two decks. That's not bad. That's actually a way. So thirty two dollars so it's costing what is it thirty two times it's less than thirty dollars obviously and then you can get five percent discount and then a hundred dollar coupon. Okay, so it's you can probably get this for around twenty two dollars if you buy in bulk. Pretty good deal. Anyway, bye guys.